Hi. Hi there. Uh-oh. Are you stuck? Can you get your head back through? You can. Okay. Hello. And welcome to Sweetie's Health Spa. Um, I can't make any promises as to how relaxing this actually is. Hey friends, editing Sarah here. I just went through the video and realized I was super nervous and forgot to tell you why I was doing what I was doing. So Sweetie has Bumblefoot um, and I did a bunch of research on how to help treat that for her. And so that's what I'm in the process of doing. First soaking her feet to help clean them and release the, the bumble and then actually treating the bumble later. So that's what you're about to see. Sorry, I didn't say that out loud. I was very anxious <laughs> while in the process of doing everything. No, I can't pet you. You'll get used to it, boo. I have a feeling we're gonna do this a lot. I was actually worried this wasn't gonna be enough water, but it looks like it's fine. So, as you can tell, I've gotten a nice deep container um, and cut a hole in the top. And we're just letting Sweetie soak her feet um, for about 10 to 15 minutes. This is not her favorite thing we've ever done. And I think I'm gonna give her a whole lot of treats to make up for this. But I've got everything already out and together. So I've got a towel to wrap her up in so she feels secure. Or at least that's what YouTube said to do. Also, the chickens on YouTube tolerated this a lot better than she's doing right now. And basically all I'm gonna do is make sure that her feet are clean, put some antibiotic ointment on it. Hi, baby. Um, <laughs> put some antibiotic ointment on it. If the obvious one is able to pop out right away, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I don't think it will be. We're all right. We're all right. And then I'm gonna try and bandage her feet, which is gonna be interesting. Uh, just a disclaimer, I don't know what I'm doing. I've only watched YouTube videos on how to do this. So, pray for me and sweetie. So, one thing I did not do that I should have done is put on my gloves before now. So I'm just gonna hold you like this. You're gonna put some gloves on. Then we're gonna rub on those feetsies so okay does that sound good I'm gonna lay you down please there we go there we go we're okay yeah we're okay oh this might actually just pop right out okay let's move this camera over here so y'all can see this is Okay, I can do this. This is the bumble. Woo, sweetie. All right, so that's it. Just looks like a little clump of dirt. Sweetie, that was so easy, boo-boo. Now let's check the other one. Oh my gosh, if these both just come out in one soak. Almost there. Woo! We got them both. Oh my goodness, sweetie. Boo-boo, we did it. Well, 
let's put some antibiotic in that and wrap you up. easier without a hand trimmer I know yeah yeah this is great no boo boo come here you're okay I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a pad sweetie I'm so proud of you baby yeah Just a little bit of tape to make sure we're good. Again, don't know what I'm doing, so hopefully this will hold. so small at the store but now it looks huge see I'd be a lot more all rider if you would just leave me the Hades alone and I was so ready for that to take weeks of soaking No joke. I really was. Okay, naturally my phone quit recording like right towards the very end, but oh my gosh, that was so easy. Um, she's already right back out there scratching with the other girls. I'm just gonna keep an eye on her to make sure her bandages stay on, but that just popped right out. I watched all those YouTube videos saying that they had to soak their sweet chicken for weeks. I mean, not like it had to stay in the thing for weeks, but they had to like go through the process for weeks. And that was five minutes of soak, quick pop. I didn't vomit. This was a big success. I'm, I am very proud of myself right now.